Hey, my mom grant this matter to become a new and equal country. It is right that they declare the world because some things we know are certainly true. All men have certain unusual rights given given to them by God that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So whenever any government is set is getting in the way of these rights, people have the right to change it or get rid of it and to make a new government in whatever way seems most likely to make them safe and happy. People should not change their government without any re reasonable motive. So people should usually suffer as long as they can understand the government they have rather than change it. When there has been a lot of problems for a long time, it, it is their right and duty to throw off that government and to set up a better government. All of all of us in America have suffered as for a very long time, and now I agree that we should change our government. The our government, the king of England, has done many unfair things to us, and there is some, just some of them. He will not let us pass the laws that we want. He chooses the laws that we sign. He gives us orders like we are his servant and pays no attention to what we think. He makes the laws too hard on the colonists. He does not allow a jury and jury. He says there should be only a judge. When we ask him to stop, he just keeps on go doing more bad things. We have tried to talk to him, he just won't listen. We also try to talk to other people who live in England. We ask them to stop their crimes against us, but they have act, acted as if we're dead. So we have to so we have to separate from England and they will be enemies to us during the war. So we are hopeful that they will be friends with us when we are at peace. So um, the United States, wait. Though we are hopeful that they will be friends with us when we are at peace. So we think that God will see that we are doing the right thing when we declare the United States completely independent of the King of England. We have no more political connection to England at all. As independent states, we make peace to make alliances with other countries. We trade other countries and do everything else that countries do. We promise that we will fight for our independence with the help of God. We promise our lives or, or our property and our scared honor. Among these men who signed the Declaration of Independence were Benjamin Franklin as well as Thomas Jefferson. This, de this Declaration of Independence was an exciting letter to write. It laid out a large amount of new ideas about the rights that all people should have. On the other hand, all of the people who were involved in writing the Declaration of Independence were wealthy white gentlemen. Even though they thought they themselves should have these rights, they were pretty vague about whether the same rights should apply to poor people, women, or black um, people. Most people living in the United in the U.S. at this time, representatives of these groups asked to be included, but in 1776, most people living in the U.S. at this time, representatives of these groups asked to be included, but in 1776, much, but <laughs> only, rich, only rich and white Christian men signed the Declaration of Independence. Even though the Declaration of Independence 
only applied to some people. I was very, it was very important statement of, of the idea that everybody has rights.